All right, welcome back guys. This is Ivan from BurningBiz.com again. Um, today in this tutorial, we're gonna do something uh, with Halloween. So, got some candy here, got a bowl full of candy. Got a little mask that we got. And both these things we got at the good old Walmart. Of course, they have a lot of stuff and sometimes for these kinds of projects, uh, Walmart uh, is the place to be. Uh, what we're gonna do today Actually, what we already did, we already put some uh, electronics inside this mask, as you can see here. Now, we got the Uno in there, we got a battery pack, 18650 batteries, we got a little buzzer in there, and we got two uh, Max 7219 Matrix. And basically, these are in the eyes of the, uh, the mask, right here. Now, I like this mask because it's got kind of like a little... Um, a little fabric, black fabric, so it, it hides the, uh, the little Max 7219 modules very well, so you can't really see them. And the mouth also is open with that fabric. And uh, the other parts that we have, we have this here in the chin. It's a proximity sensor. So basically it sends out a beam of light and when it reflects off a hand or anything like that, it gets picked up by the other one. And the way we're gonna do this today, we're gonna put the mask in the bowl, like here, and when somebody goes to grab a piece of candy, this will get detected, and the eyes are gonna to turn to an angry uh, type of stare. Then the eyes will randomly change from looking straight, looking left, right, and also we put a little bit of LEDs uh, just behind the mouth here, which is gonna be yellow when there's no activation, and when somebody tries to get the candy, then it'll turn red to show the angry face. So, you know, it's just, just a fun little project that we did for uh, Halloween. Uh, it shows you how to use the MAX 7219 uh, module, how to detect uh, something that's uh, a proximity sensor like we have here, play around with uh, little LEDs, change colors and intensity and stuff like that. And also the buzzer will sound when this gets activated. So we got our bowl of candy ready. We got our mask all set up. So we're gonna cut here. We're gonna go look at the code and then we're gonna come back put that little guy inside our bowl and test it out. So we'll be right back. All right, so here we are in the code for the Halloween uh, tutorial that we were just looking at. Uh, so we're gonna go from top to bottom. So we're including two libraries in this one. We're including LED control, which is used to control the max 7219 uh, dot matrix LED module. And we're also using the one word that we used before in other tutorials, the fast LED, to control the um, LEDs inside the uh, mount of the mask, which are gonna flicker uh, in, in intensity from yellow. And then when we try to pick up some candy, we will switch them to full uh, brightness red. Uh, now, I invite you to go to brainybuzz.com slash tutorials and there you'll find all the tutorials we've done. So we make a page for all these tutorials so you can see the, um, the schematics, how everything is plugged in, uh, get more information, all the parts that we use and all that. So I invite you guys to go check that out. Then we define uh, these uh, three lines here are for the fast LEDs. So we, the number of LEDs, we're using a little LED stick, uh, which has eight LEDs on it. The uh, pin that it's connected to on the Uno, and then we're defining the array that we're gonna use to actually light each one of these LEDs. Then we have the IR pin, which is connected to the um, proximity sensor. So that's on pin two on the UNO. Then the buzzer is connected to pin five on the UNO. Then we have the LED control to actually um, tell which pins are connected where on the uh, MAX7219 matrix. So here you can see 12 is connected to DIN, the digital in, 11 is clock, and 10 is CS, uh, cable select. And the two here is because we're using two for two eyes. Uh, if you wanted to use more, you would change that number to the number of modules you have. And we define a little variable here, delay time. It's at 1000, which approximately equals one second. That's the uh, default delay time that a frame of the eye is gonna stay on, but we're gonna play with that a little bit lower. And then these are all the values of the array. So left eye open, 
So uh, if you look closely, zero means off, one means on, and we have an eight by eight matrix. So when there's a one, that means the LED is gonna be on. So left eye open, that's its uh, matrix. Left eye blink, and I'm gonna go down. Left eye look left. So these are all the different style of eyes that we have defined that we can use. Now you could, you could add more expressions and stuff like that. You just follow the same uh, syntax that we're uh, using here. So these are all the same thing. So we're gonna go down. And then we have our, our setup. So we're waking up the matrix here, zero and one. And we're setting the intensity of each uh, of these modules. Uh, zero is the, I believe, the right eye. And the other one is the left eye. So the intensity to medium. And then we're clearing the display to make sure no LEDs are on at the beginning. And then we define the, uh, the fast LED library, the number of LEDs, the data pin. And then we have pin mode of the buzzer, it's an output. The, we digital write to the buzzer high because we're actually using the digital pin on the UNO to um, act as a ground. So we put it high and the other leg of the buzzer is connected to, I believe, 3.3 volt. Uh, I would have to check that, but you could check that on our schematic. And then another pin mode here for the RR pin, the proximity sensor, which is an input. Now we're going to go down a little bit. Now these are all functions that get called to actually put the values in the arrays and display them. So all I did here is add an S at the beginning. So right eye angry, and we do a loop for each column of the matrix. And we say set row, we read, this is the, uh, the matrix itself. This would be the right eye, so it's zero. I represent from 0 to 8, and then we read the array that we defined at the top. But these get called a little bit later during our loop. So we're going to go down. There's, there's, one of, there's one of these for each one of our expressions for each I. And here we come to our main loop. So we do delay at the beginning just to settle everything down. And then we set the uh, LEDs in the mouth to orange at the beginning. And that's what this for loop does. And we set the brightness to random because we want the intensity to vary uh, on its own. And then we show the LEDs depending on which value random that we... Uh, so here, as you can see, random, it's going to be a value from 25 to 100. You could change that from 0 to 50 if you want a little bit less brightness. So the number that will be... Um, uh, created by the random here will be between 25 and 100. Then we check if the proximity sensor is uh, triggered, meaning we were trying to get candy from the bowl, so we're blocking the IR sensor. And if it is, then what we do is that we call these functions that we saw at the beginning at uh, near the bottom. So S left, uh, left eye angry, right eye angry, that will actually uh, put the angry expression of the eyes uh, automatically by calling these two functions. And then at the same time, since this is triggered, we want to set the uh, LEDs inside the mouth to red. And that's what we're doing here. And also, since we're triggering, we're putting the buzzer pin to low to sound the buzzer. And that what we do is that while digital read of the RR pin is low, meaning we're still blocking it, we're not doing anything, we're just waiting there. So while it's blocked, it just keeps going in here. Once it gets out, meaning we removed our hand, then we digitalize the buzzer to high, turning it off, and then we do a little delay of 100 milliseconds just for, to wait for the IR module, the proximity module, to reset. And here, we're at the beginning, if we're not triggering anything, then we want the left eye open and right eye open function to execute. So we put our, on a matrix, the open eyes. And then we do delay time to leave that frame on the eyes and that we um, did at the beginning was a thousand, so about a second. And then we do display frame equals a random number from one to six. We're randomizing the eyes, so it doesn't always do the same things. And then we do a switch case depending on the value that was uh, created by the random function. If it's a two, then we do a blink. 
with a delay time of 1000 minus 650 because a blink is faster. And if it's a case 3, then the eyes look left, delay time minus 500, meaning a little bit less long than the wide open. And if it's a case 4, we do look right and the same delay here. And that's it. So the code is fairly long. It could have been a lot uh, shorter. We could have used uh, more uh, math <laughs> to actually make it simpler, uh, uh, to make it shorter, sorry. But by doing it this way, you see exactly how this works and it's very easy to modify. But I invite you to actually modify it in a way that maybe will make the code, the code shorter, more efficient. Uh, but this is a good start uh, if you're just beginning to uh, learn uh, how to control these modules. So we're going to compile that, we're going to send it to the UNO, and uh, we're going to... What the hell is that? Oh my god. Alright, so welcome back guys. So we uploaded the code to the UNO that's inside the mask right there. And we plugged in the battery pack, the 18650 battery pack. So now everything is being powered up. And as you can see right now, the eyes are randomizing. So you got the straight looking, looking left, blinking, and looking left again because it's randomized. And blinking again, and it should look to the right at, at left at some point. Doesn't want to do it right now. So right now, the sensor, as you can see the mouth inside, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's yellow. And it changes in intensity. So I'm going to simulate taking candy from this, uh, this jar right here. So I'm going to put my hand in. Oh, there we go, detected me, angry eyes, the mouth turned red, do it again, oh, there we go, and when I remove my hand, goes back, and the LEDs in the mouth become yellow again, and again, so I guess I can't get some candy right now, well, I guess not, <laughs> so there you go, it's kind of silly, uh, but it's a fun little project, shows you how to use these different modules together and if you build one of them, you could put them in a, a bucket like this with the candy and when your kids go and grab some candy, then you would be alerted that they are actually eating too much candy. So there you go guys, that was our tutorial for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, you can grab uh, any mask like this that has enough space inside to put all the components inside. Uh, we did it this way, but there's many ways you could uh, play around with this. You could change the design of the eyes, uh, you could change the light inside, you could reposition, maybe have more uh, proximity sensors uh, to make the eye look in the way the uh, detection is. So this is just a start. So as, our, as with all our tutorials, uh, we hope you guys start with this and then develop your own code and learn uh, even more. So I want to thank you guys for watching and if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel you can do that and that way you'll get notified when we post new tutorials. Uh, most of the time we post new tutorials every week, uh, sometimes every second week, but we're trying really hard to have at least one a week. Uh, also I invite you to go to our store brainybits.com and you'll find all the parts that we've used in these tutorials and all the tutorials we do. And if you uh, purchase some parts from us to do your own project. Uh, that uh, helps us a lot. So once again, guys, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.